What's up guys, I'm DJ Avionics. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another Tutorial Tuesday video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use the blur in Final Cut Pro X. More so blurring out someone's face or a license plate that's in view or um, you're not given permission to use. Um, most people like to blur faces of people because those people don't get permission to use them in the video. So they like to blur them out. Um, most of the time I'm blurring out license plates right in front of my house because quite frankly when I'm videoing and testing something out front and posting it on YouTube I, I don't want you guys to know where I live or find out where I live to make things easier I'm going to be blurring out an entire body of someone so you guys can see clearly what I'm doing rather than the face So right here we have the video clip of the guy we are using and um, we're gonna blur him and we're also going to motion track the blurred subject throughout the video clip. So that's a little added bonus for you guys. So what we want to do, we want to go to the titles and generators drop down right here. And we want to search for shape. Right there. And we're just going to drag that over our video clip. And we're going to trim that off because we're just going to be using this blurred shape from the time our subject is in frame and out of frame so if we shorten this real quick by trimming it down if we're carefully looking at this video clip he goes out of view right completely right there so basically we want to trim this mask or i mean shape clip from the beginning to the end of when he is visible okay so now you click on the shapes and then you go over to the right inspector panel and go ahead and uncheck the uncheck the fill for now. And what we want to do, we want to transform, click on the transform button over here and we, we're going to adjust the shape of our uh, shape. And we want to adjust it to the size of him. Let's go ahead and change this to an oval since a circle is too wide of a, a frame for him. So if you click over here to shape and then there should be one where it's uh... Oh, you know what? I think we just have to click on the side of the transform box and we're going to create any ellipse just like that. So now we have to double our video clip here. So we're going to select the video clip of him. We're going to command C copy and then command V paste. And here's our new clip, but we want to put this right in between our shape. And so our two video clips are below it. So what we're doing here is click on your shape and get your playhead at the beginning. And first we're going to go ahead and track our subject. Okay, so we have our elliptical shape over our subject. So from here we are going to add a keyframe. Make sure you have your shape clip selected, key, uh, your playhead is at the very first frame, click on the transform button right here until the add a keyframe shows up, it says add a new keyframe at the playhead, we're going to click on that and once we click on that all of our transform positions turn yellow which means we are now active. So what we're going to do here, as you can see if, I, if you zoom in, not zoom in there, if you zoom in here in the timeline you'll see all the frames right they're all split up between one second and two second what you can do you can press the right arrow key to go one frame at a time and drag the red shape over every time he moves or you can go a little bit faster by holding shift and arrow key and it'll skip about eight frames and um, for all intents and purposes we'll be using uh, the shift arrow key to skip uh, several frames because he's moving at a slow pace so we won't have to meticulously track the uh, the shape to him so it should go okay so let's rewind back click on shape playhead all right keyframe so we're gonna press shift right arrow key and we're gonna drag okay shift arrow key drag again Shift arrow key, drag again. And as you can see, we are creating our, our uh, motion tracking red line with keyframes. If you're not doing it correctly, you won't see that red line with the gray diamonds. Okay, shift right arrow key. Yeah, basically you wanna do this the entire time. And 
and as you see he's going out of frame and and you could also adjust the size of the shape too it'll actually uh, change as it's going so we'll go ahead and widen that out now as you get closer to the end of the clip you don't want to skip the frames past it so just right using the right arrow key go frame by frame until he's completely out so you can be precise at how the shape ends almost done two more frames three more frames two more frames last frame all right there we go so now if we zoom out here just real quick bring the playhead back we should be watching the red elliptical shape over the subject follow him and there you have it so now to add the blur effect so what we're gonna do here we're gonna click on the shapes again we're gonna click on uh, the published parameters tab with the, the little square with the number two we're gonna go ahead and fill that back in by clicking that check mark okay and then we're going to click the video parameter compositing. We're going to change the blend mode down to stencil luma. Okay, so now all we see is him. Now the purpose of copying and pasting uh, the clip, so this bottom one, that's basically going to be our blur. So over here we're going to click our effects panel and we're going to choose blur under video category. And we're going to use Gaussian. So we're going to drag that effect over the clip the video clip directly below shape so now now you see them now you don't so now if we play from here all we're going to see is the, the entire black screen and the, and the oval okay now what we want to do next is we're going to select the shapes clip and the clip that has the gaussian effect command uh command select to or just drag drag like that to, to, uh, to select both of them and we're gonna right click or hit control and click now we're gonna create a compound clip okay so now it's combined the two and we're and the bottom video clip is actually gonna be the entire clip so it's basically like two layers so now if you bring the playhead back to the beginning and hit play it's going to blur or it's gonna play everything with the combined blur clip and the regular clip together. And there you have it. That's how you blur a subject, face, uh, license plate, frame, whatever. And that's how you track it across the video with motion tracking. If this tutorial helped you to learn how to blur a subject in Final Cut Pro plus the motion tracking, I'd appreciate you hitting that like button. Uh, leave any comments or suggestions on what you want me to show you guys next time down below and please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and ring that notifications bell so you can be notified of future uploads. Alright guys, I'm DJ Avionics. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.